Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Hit the like button if you like and please subscribe. And I want to thank all my subscribers that have already subscribed. God bless you and you are a blessing. Well, here's another video that uh, pertains to uh, cell phones. And can teachers take the child's phone? Today it's not uncommon for kids to get a mobile phone or other electronic devices at a young age. And almost all of them, including you, bring their smartphones or devices to school. So many kids involved in extracurricular activities after school, parents carpooling and using apps like Lyft, L-Y-F-T, and Uber, excuse me, transport their children here and there. This makes sense. We also all too often see stories on the news about violence in high schools and how kids in trouble are able to reach the police and their parents. This everyday hustle and bustle, along with current events, make it easy to argue that the use of cell phones in schools is necessary. After all, a student's parent should be able to easily contact them. But if cell phones are allowed in school, how do we keep class periods free from constant text messages and social media? And how do we keep your grades up with an endless source of distraction in your pocket. Well, uh, some good reasons there, isn't there? <laughs> you know, teenagers now, they, they love to text each other. <laughs> Typically, state laws permit the governed body of a school district, like your local school board, to create school policies about the possession, use of cell phones by students on school grounds. Schools take different approaches which can make it difficult to know for certain what the cell phone policy is at a particular school. Usually schools take the stance that cell phone usage can cause a distraction or disrupt the learning process. Can you blame them? No, I can't blame them. As such, you are typically prohibited from using your phone during class time or school hours. Disciplinary action varies, but it may include the confiscation of your cell phone for a set period of time. Typically, you will then receive your phone back at the end of the class or the end of the school day. Now there is a good idea right there. Take the phone away while they are in class. Then they can pick it up when they leave their class. Now that's, that's good there. I had another idea, but that one's a lot better than the one I think <laughs> I was coming up with, <laughs> but I'll tell you about that later. So if you're allowed to bring your phone to school, can you principal, can your principal, teachers, or other adults take your phone at school? Probably, but not permanently. Right. Do students' rights include the legal right to a cell phone at school? Just because school officials have temporarily taken your phone doesn't mean they have the right to go through it. That's right. They don't. United States Supreme Court Justice Abe Fortas wrote all the way back in 1969 that students do not shed their constitutional rights at the schoolhouse gate. Additionally, the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures of private property, and students like you have an expectation of privacy for their personal property. The ACLU says student property includes their cell phones. However, the legal standard used to decide when a search is legal doesn't always apply to students, so don't push your luck. Typically, for a search to be legal, a judge will only issue a search warrant when something called probable cause exists. That means police would need to make an argument that they need to look at your phone to solve a crime. That's good deal though right there and I'll explain that to a little bit later however the Supreme Court has ruled the special circumstances sometimes exist in public schools making the requirement for probable cause and a warrant unnecessary that too so while you retain some rights to privacy at school 
If your school has a reasonable suspicion you're violating school rules with your phone, they may be entitled to search it or punish you if you refuse to unlock it. If you go to a private school, your school may have even more leeway to search your phone than if you go to a public school. If you're unsure of your school's rules regarding cell phones during class hours or on school property, check your student handbook or code of conduct. Most importantly, if someone is in charge tells you to put your phone away, listen to them. Right. Now that's just a little short article there. Now, as for having the cell phone in a classroom, I agree that they should hand their phones in when they walk through the door to the classroom and then get the phone back after they are ready to leave class. Now the teacher usually has a cell phone. So if any, uh, what do I want to say? Unsettling noise. And you know what I'm getting at. Like if you think you hear a gun go off or something like that, just alert the teacher. Let the teacher get on her cell phone and call another teacher to see what's going on. You know, but then if that don't work or if someone busts in the school room door, which should be locked, I think from now, for now, uh, a lot of the schools are keeping their uh, doors locked after the uh, students come in the room that are for the class that they're attending then I think the teachers do lock the door that gives them time to get to their cell phone and I'm not sure about the windows in the doors I'm kind of hoping in a way that the classrooms doors that they lock after the students come in their class don't have windows because a shooter can walk right up to that window and start firing and there's no help you know would the teacher have time to reach for her cell phone and some student may have their cell phone and they'd be able to call for help so you got a dice for is that the right word uh, between do and don't you know but I like the suggestion that the students would be old enough and capable enough to understanding. You do not use your cell phone while you are in your class studying. You've got to understand that that's a no-no because if your phone, or just shut your phone off, if you don't have the, the rule to where you have to turn it in as soon as you enter into the, the school room, then be sure your phone is shut off. That way you still keep your phone if there is a disturbance of any kind and the teacher seems nervous and alert and she checks to see what's going on. And God forbid if there is a shooter and she should get hit, at least the kids have got their phones that they can call the police, call for help, and call their parents. So I can understand the pros and the cons. Now, the idea that I had <laughs> was if someone is disobedient, does not shut their phone off, and uses their phone while they're studying in their room, classroom, they automatically get an F on whatever they're studying. Now, that would not be pretty, would it? So, you enter a classroom you be sure your phone is shut off. That way you still get to keep it in, ca in case there's an emergency. But I'm sure your teacher has her cell phone and let her handle whatever might be coming and, you know, that will alert her to trouble. You get what I mean? But keep your phone shut off until you see something. But it would avoid a lot if the, the school room doors did not have glass in them. Now that's just my idea. And I, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking. That's all I'm doing, I'm just sitting here thinking. But that would uh, give the teacher time 
even if the shot come through the door, for you kids to hit the floor, teach her to hit the floor, but get on her phone and call 911. And if you kids got your phone, you get on your phone and you call 911. But that's only in case of an emergency. But these days, Lord knows, we have no idea. We don't understand why it happens. We don't understand the kids that are doing the shooting, why they're doing it. There's so much to think about and think over and try to do what's right for protection of each other. Teachers, principals, school nurses, janitors, everybody. You know, you have to be alert, but you also got to do your studies because you don't want that F. You're studying to become a better person, to form your career that you might want in your lifetime. And there's a lot to think about and a lot to go over. But I agree with them. But I don't agree with them taking away the phones as you walk in the morning at 8 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. and they grab your phones. And I don't agree that they should get into your phone unless you are the shooter and you've got your phone, they usually do, or something like that, or you start a fight, you're beating up on another student, then yes, they should take your phone and they should investigate it because you asked for it. Okay? But I think there's a ways that all this can be worked out with the schools, with the teachers, the principal, the children, the parents, for safety reasons and legitimate reasons. It's just because this day you never know what might happen. But be a good student. When you go into your classroom for your subject that you're going to the classroom for, shut your phone off. And then you'll be able to hear if a shooter comes into the school. And I pray that they take the glass out of the classroom doors. And that they do lock them after the students are in the classroom. That would be a little bit of protection there. I am praying and hoping that more schools, high schools, any school, grade school, kindergarten, any, any school grade of any, any um, what do I want to say, whatever, of students that has students, even church, uh, Bible school, uh, Bible classes, churches, everything. They got to take precautions these days. But if you got a solid door in any of those facilities, that gives a shooter at least a target to shoot at, but not maybe hit anybody until you all can get help. And it would take a lot to bust through a steel door. That's another thing. I pray that the all the facilities, the churches, Sunday school, wherever, puts in steel doors. No windows. The teacher can lock the door after the students are all in. And it takes a lot to go through a steel door. I got steel doors on my home. Two of them. One, two, three. I got three of them, come to think about it. Yes, I got three steel doors. And that's, a, that's another good precaution that should be looked at. In all the schools, high schools, grade schools, mid schools, whatever. Anywhere, colleges, even colleges. That would be a good thing. But if you're in your schoolroom, you're there to study. You're forming your future. Understand it, accept it, and go with the right thing to do. Shut your phones off when you're in the classroom. When you leave that classroom, go into a next classroom, you'll have time to message somebody like your mama or something and say, Mama, I'm going to another classroom. I love you. You know, so simple. Shut your phone off, get in the classroom, and study. It's your future. 
you're looking at. Okay? I love you all. It's hard growing up. And it's hard with all these mechanical, electronical devices they're coming up with. Yeah, see, in the olden days, we never had stuff like that. No. But we didn't need stuff like that in those days. This days, you never know. God bless you all. Love you. See you later. I'll be back with another video. Bye.